What is up guys, welcome back to another video of Future Aquariums, Nathan here, and today I'm going to be walking through how to do a hydrogen peroxide dip for your corals. Now here I'm, I'm going to be doing it on my Ganyapura and a Zoa. And my Ganyapura you can see is behind that rock, has a lot of algae on it, and I'm putting it in a place with no flow so it can hopefully bounce back, kind of like my last attempt to heal it. And next I'll be doing it on this Zoa, you can see there's a lot of hair algae on the plug, so it's preventing it from opening, and it's one of my favorite Zoas pieces. So first, you'll need to set up your station. You're going to need two cups and hydrogen peroxide, obviously. I'm going to be using 3% hydrogen peroxide, which is recommended. And you can use any hydrogen peroxide from anywhere. I'm just getting using it from uh, CVS. Next, we'll uh, fill one cup with normal tank water. And then for the other cup, you'll fill it with hydrogen peroxide. It doesn't really how, matter how much you put. As long as you put enough in both cups to submerge the corals completely. To prepare for this process, I'm going to be first putting both frags into the cup of normal tank water. And you will want to do the dip for two minutes max for each frag plug. That'll be just enough to ensure that all the algae dies without harming the actual corals. Since hydrogen peroxide works by depleting the uh, oxygen content on whatever it is, so that's why the algae dies. Um, once you're ready, you can just directly put the corals inside the cup of hydrogen peroxide and you'll want to see bubbling occurring. Uh, this amount of fizzing is going to be perfect some corals will produce more, some corals will produce less. It can even produce some slime. It's nothing to worry about. It's perfectly normal for this process. Next, you will want to put it back into your normal cup of tank water and whoosh it around. Once you do that, you can just transport it directly back into the tank. And then your hydrogen peroxide process will be done. And soon, your corals will be spot clean. All right, guys, it's been a while, but I'll give you guys an update about the results of the dip. The Ganypora was fine. The lighting is pretty bad. The Ganypora did lose all of its algae, but it grew back. And as I said before, it was kind of my last attempt to save my Ganyapora, but it was a failed effort, so it's no use. But I can show you proof that this method works since like a lot of other people use it and also that zoa was the one that i used um also did a dip on now the algae is all gone it's been like a few weeks and i have that single head displaying beautifully